Today's the day. Today's the day we are doing drills. We are going to be applying what we learned from Mark Burnett's video that we watched last video. Uh, if you haven't seen that, that video is right there in this corner of the screen. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, the whole point of my channel is to share my journey with art as I improve gradually. And I guess the first thing that I want to say right out the get go is that I have a lot more anxiety making this video slash doing this sort of drill than I would have liked. It's very difficult for me to view it as like, oh, I'm just sitting down to like, see if I can learn how to draw faces better. Wouldn't that be neat? It's like, no. You need to improve. You need to get something out of this. This needs to be perfect. This needs to work. You need to have something to show for your efforts. And that's super toxic. And it makes you not want to sit down to draw or practice because I mean, who, who, that doesn't sound, what kind of headspace is that? Why would you ever willingly put yourself through that? So I'm taking a moment now just to clear the air for myself, hopefully, maybe, listen, subconscious Josh, that it's okay if this is hard and it's okay if you're not good at it and you should just try to have some fun. Okay, now that our pep talk's out of the way, let's actually see if we can do this. So the first thing that I want to do from the last video is that for stage one of the circles, Mark says that you basically are level one. You need to be able to draw a circle, which is, you know, hard enough. But then you have to cut that circle in half latitudinally and longitudinally. Is that even a word? And that you'll know the stage is done when the two sides are equal to each other, both left and right and up and down like this. They're supposed to be the same length, just like that. I keep waving this at the screen as if you can see it. You can't see this, but I can, but it has to be equal. So that's step one. So. Let's see if we can do that. So there's a circle. I don't hate it. And now, instead of drawing a center line, we have to draw, we have to cut this in half. So like one, and then two, something like this, question mark. And then if we go like this. All right, I can kind of sort of see that. Um, already, without having to measure, I already see that in an effort to keep my line weight more confident or to make my line suck less, I overshoot all of my lines. I didn't connect my circle. This is overshot. This is overshot. And uh, that's not good. I don't know how to fix that. Obviously, there's the answer is slow down. But then I feel like if I slow down too much, then my lines turn into like this. You know, it's a question of not overshooting and like slowing down a little bit, but not slowing down so much that your lines turn into literal garbage. Okay, so now let's measure. So if we go back to the video, we see, let me find like exactly where he's measuring from. It's from, because again, we have to switch from 3D to 2D in our minds. We have to see through the end of it. And then we also have to see two dimensionally on top of it when it, if it's flat where we're angling and it's the 2d left and right angle that's the same but the lines that we're drawing them to are the back of the sphere the vertical back of the sphere to the far left and the vertical front of the sphere to the far right okay so here's the here's the vertical front to the far right so that's here to here and then vertical back to far left Okay, um, fine. Let's put this on a new layer and put them side by side. Actually, to make sure that we're not cheating, let's only measure one side on new layer, duplicate it, and then drag it over so that there's no fudging. All right, so new layer. Here's one side on the edge to this. And if I duplicate it and bring it on over, okay, that's not bad. That's actually not awful. We're a little off here, and I have a feeling that this offness probably has something to do with me overshooting the sides here. Um, okay, so that's left and right, so this is off, but then we also do up and down, and I guess that's the same thing, the bottom to the this center circle here. So we have, I'll do the same thing, new layer, measure from the bottom to the center here, duplicate that, and that actually lines up pretty close surprisingly actually i'm not awful at this wow look at that <laughs> okay that worked out great uh the lessons from this one though hold on before we move on completely we have to get our takeaways so we can actually iterate and know consciously what we're trying to improve so we're slowing down our lines um that's it 
That's the biggest one. All right, that's a little uh, oblong this way. But you know, if we just rotate it just a little smidge, uh, that'll that'll be good for this one. <laughs> so actually, wait, if we're doing a head, heads are oblong the other way. So this is probably better. But then now if we're rotating it, we might as well just kind of shrink it and do something like that. Uh-huh. Okay, fine, I'll start over, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try the same angle. It's just the same, same general, like, looking this way. All right, um, kind of works, but also kind of stupid. I don't like my lines. I like they're much more wobbly um, than these over here. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. Again, that's uh, slowing down the line speed gave me this, but yet I don't have all these overshoots here. And I have these nice little intersections that I don't have here, but it came at a cost. So how do you balance that? Ah. All right, now for the measuring. Wow. Not bad. It's not entirely accurate. Again, we have this little bit of edge, but this is a smaller difference than this. So it looks like that slowing down the line speed did give me more accuracy or symmetry um, than going faster, which surprise, surprise, slowing down makes things more accurate. All right, then what about this one? Wow, okay. Bananas! We did pretty decent again! All right, so then what's the takeaway from this? Um, my lines suck. So what, like more draw box exercises? Draw from the shoulder? Am I holding my pen wrong? Is it just mileage? Let's put down mileage, because the answer, I mean, every art solution is mileage, right? The answer to everything is just draw more. I'm, I'm, that's half satirical. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Okay, I'm a little curious about this one because the center line is like way off center. It's like all the way over here. I don't know if this is actually gonna line up, but let's try. And no, okay, way off. Absolutely super mega ultra off. Uh, okay, so sure, it's one thing to do something slightly off center and feel like you've got the hang of it. But then as soon as you try to go for a more dramatic head tilt, um, you're off by like the size of Kansas. So let's try this again. Uh, I think that I definitely went wrong on the back side of the sphere, the far side. So this line here, I think is what's wrong. So let's just duplicate all this and start tweaking that back line to see where that would actually line up. Yeah, just literally dragging it over to the red line doesn't make it look good. I don't look at this and say, wow, what a perfectly symmetrical circle. That looks right. No, that looks awful. That looks wrong. How? I don't know. I don't know enough. So instead of trying to tweak what I have, I'm just going to start over with the same general idea of having an extreme head tilt to the left. This is the camera. So the left. Perfect. Now, here's my question. If you draw a straight line up and down like this, you just make a, a cross hatch, right? And it's, and it's symmetrical, then that means that you always have to cross one axis to make it symmetrical. So if I have it right down the middle and I go from left side to left side like this, that's not gonna be symmetrical. In order for it to be symmetrical, I have to somehow cut over, I have to cross this line at some point for it to be symmetrical. I can't just, I can't do this. That'd be like cutting off the side of an orange or cutting off the side of an apple. Here's your thing, right? Here's your apple, here's your, here's, here's your piece for Susie and now Susie's piece is over here. Look at my apple, yay. And this is now gone, right? Cause you chopped it off. So that could be why this fell apart because I didn't cross the center axis of this circle. So what's messing me up is that, so normally people say draw the center line, right? That center line is what's cutting the thing in half and then your ellipses have to come from that point. So by Mark saying, just 
cut a sphere in half. He still has a center line. His center line is just in his head, and it's right here in between the center of his ellipse. And since I'm stupid, and I don't know immediately where that line is, I'm getting a little confused. I have to draw, a, I can draw a center line anywhere I want, as long as it's somewhere along the center. I can't like do something like this, for example. But then this is where it gets confusing. So if I wanna do something like this with Loomis, right? And I draw, this is my center line. I have my chin somewhere down here. And then this connects to the jaw somewhere. Whatever, eyebrow line, this here equal thirds. But this, this center line, isn't symmetrical. And if I try to draw it as such, it looks really off. So what do I do if I wanna make a three quarter view looking this way? And now if I go here, like that is so not symmetrical. I'm wanting it to be like this, but I feel like that's not allowed. This very clearly, like this feels like a skull now. And you have this, this line is the center line based off of this, but yet the circle is like, no, this is your center line. How do you end a video when you're stuck? I don't have the answer. And see, like, this is it. This is the exact feeling that I have to fight when I sit down to practice because I feel like that this sort of like feeling lost is inevitable. And I'm gonna, I'm going to run into this problem. And this is why I think that why it's been so hard for me to sit down and draw and practice on my own time outside of like a formal class setting. Because after like five years of this, I'm, I'm like burnt out. Like this is a frustrating feeling to experience where you just, you don't know why it's wrong. You don't, there's no immediate answer for you to check and it's just exhausting. I got stuck. So, uh, I mean, I have people in the discord, so I'll shop this around. Maybe I can get some help for that. Make another video on what I find. Um, and that'll be the happy ending. This video took a completely different turn than what I was expecting. I thought I would have I thought I had it. All right, hey, you know what? Sometimes this happens. Try not to let it get to you. I know this can be really disappointing and really frustrating. God knows I've experienced this way more than I would care to admit. Um, but you know what? That's okay. We'll get through it. We'll keep learning. We'll answer our questions. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Jeez, what a train wreck. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, see you guys. Bye.